in a earlier video I showed a pile of fire ants in my yard and I pointed out that there are scores of brands of anti-fire ant pesticide that smell and taste and look delicious to the fire ants and that slowly poison them. Your studies show fire ants, if something immediately starts killing them, they will drop it. But if it slowly builds up and kills them, they'll all eat it and die and give it to the queen. And I was just describing how that connects in as a good parallel to how the globalist with the vaccines, the GMO, and the rest of it, give us soft kills. And that's all that's going on here. They also suck the money out of us at the end of our life with uh, so-called treatments while blocking all the real treatments that have been developed and even some cures for things like cancer. Now, I wanted to show you here in this experiment these antlions here. And I haven't tested this yet, but uh, I remember as a child watching them eat ants, and I thought I would uh, have another parallel or interesting illustration here for you and uh, tie it to our human civilization level. You know, the globalists want you dependent. The globalists want you under their control. They want you on welfare. They don't want you to be self-sufficient in their own documents, it's kind of like Stalin shutting down the Ukrainian farmers or the communist Chinese making the people collectivize and over 60 million dying in just a few years and the great leap forward in the Cultural Revolution because they want total control over the system. They basically build these pits in hopes that we fall into them while all the time posing as our saviors. So I thought I would do a test here and see if we can witness one of these ant lions that as they struggle uh, the ant lion will come up and get them. Now again I haven't tested this yet here is a June bug that was already in there, and of course it's too big to be eaten. He's been trying to get out, but it's time for him to you know, come out and then die in a few days anyways. But I'll go ahead and let him go. I like June bugs. They're really good when they're grubs. You can dig them up. Great fish bait. There you go, guy. Here, go over there. Be safe. Let's see what's happened to that ant. Well, that guy's already eaten too much, or he's not hungry, or he's not in there. Let's uh, try one right here. Let's see what happens here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's been grabbed. He has been grabbed. It's like a movie Alien or something. But there it is on the uh, very tiny level. The globalist are predators, they see us as animals. So there is a ant line there, and he just grabbed him and is sucking him down. And I think it's a fair trade to illustrate this for people that a poor fire ant died. I don't normally enjoy seeing creatures die. Uh, I don't particularly enjoy this, but seeing as they stung me about 30 times, I'll be able to put them in that bottle and bring them over here. In fact, I got one biting me there right now. Look at that little sucker. You know what's interesting about fire ants? He is pumping me with some poison. <laughs> you know what's interesting about these guys? This doesn't have very good macro. Come on, focus. What's interesting about these is that they will all get all over you and then start stinging you at once. They'll wait. In fact, I got some stinging me on the leg there right now. Thank you, son. My son. Oh, there. We're finally focused. He's biting me with his mandibles to make sure I don't kick him off. Now, son, leave him. I'm going to let him pump his full load of poison in. And he's got the instinct to fight. The average human now has had it bred out of him or trained out of him not to fight the globalist. He's got his front mandibles, see, dug in right there. And then the stinger planted. Amazing little creatures. All right, there is your uh, science. Uh, demonstration for everybody. Don't try this at home, folks. <laughs> Goodbye.